Welcome back. Spending just two hours a week donating can help save lives. BioLife Plasma Services has three centers in the FM area taking plasma from hundreds of donors each day. The plasma goes into medications for people with immune deficiency, burn victims, and some patients in the emergency room. Without donors, the needed help for those patients wouldn't be available. You can't process these medications in a lab. These plasma-derived products have to come from human plasma. So it is really important that we do have the donors that come out on a regular basis and continue to be a part of this life-saving program. For more information on how to sign up, we have a link on valleynewslive.com. Go there and click on our hot button. This year's Young Entrepreneur Academy national winner was welcomed to Fargo by the chamber. Her name? Kayla Abramowitz. She created Kayla Cares for Kids, a nonprofit organization collecting and donating entertainment and educational materials to hospitals. Kayla presented her organization at the One Million Cups event and she shared her experience with the YEA program. After the program, she then made a stop by Sanford Children's Hospital and Ronald McDonald House to make a delivery of donated items. When I see somebody light up because they got a DVD from me or they got a book, it just makes my world go around seeing, wow, they're really happy. What a cutie. Now, for her Fargo visit, Kayla got help from some folks at Pond America as well. You can learn more about her organization, Kayla Cares for Kids, on her webpage. She's also on Facebook and Twitter. Great effort. Yeah. yeah. Twins fans, a reason to smile today? Uh, yes, they do have a reason to smile, and they shook up the lineup a little bit. We'll hear from the skipper next in sports.